Is this thing still on? If they send me succulents again. Ooh, she's sassy. And I'm not doing it again. Hey everybody, welcome back to Box Pop and Beauty. I am Michael. I'm Kendall. This is my garden box, the $38.50 subscription mystery. It was supposed to be a garden box, but the last time we did it, there were succulents. Succulents. I better not get succulents again. Which was very confusing, but we're going to give them another shot, especially because they had a succulent box. So we'll see what's in this one. Maybe. Potentially. One day we might see what's in it. This is not as easy as you think. I bet you I can do it real. You're cutting with the back of the knife. There's no sharp part. Well, I was already going the right direction, so I just wanted to keep it going. Okay. She's trying to cut with this, the back of the knife. Because I was already, I was in the right spot. Okay, massive box. Massive box. Got our little letter here. Let's do this first, because I don't, oh, let's look at the soil. All right, so they gave us a lot of soil. Holy moly. This is the biggest bag of soil I've ever gotten in one of these before. Um, pine bark fine, sphagnum peat, perlite, and vermiculite. It doesn't necessarily sound like a succulent soil, so that makes me really excited, though it's still possible. Okay, let's open this. No, those are the plants. Well, there's some plants in there. So let's open this. Michael gets to do this part. Yeah, this looks like my box. Ooh, there's multiple little tags. Yeah, there's a few plants in here. Believe it or not, this little box is where the plants are. All right, so inside of here, we have Oh, cool wow, pot. Wow, that's sweet. That's a really cool pot. I love it. It's like That might be a great pot textured. for the snake plant we caught in the plant box yeah. video. Yeah, spoiler alert if you haven't seen that video. Well, that video is going first. But that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, well, let's see what's in here, shall we? So they're plugs. This looks like a, I have no idea, a clover? He doesn't look happy, I can tell you that. It kind of looks like a clover of some kind, but I don't know. So that is a huachera? Huachera stainless Uchera. steel, specifically bred by Charles Oliver in Pennsylvania. These plants are created as the ultimate in metallic foliage in spring small white flowers adorn this plant but the luminous silver and purple foliage is the real showstopper of this plant it is pretty it's not bad it doesn't look very healthy right now this is a grass of some kind yeah that's a carex everest native to dry woods and rocky slopes throughout honshu island japan this beautiful grass features a white broad uh, broad white center stripe bordered with dark green margins that make this a much desired plant for any project. Okay, and then this looks like an either a fern or an herb. No, it's a guara, rosy jane. This plant is an herbaceous clump forming herbaceous. perennial native to Texas and Louisiana consisting of dainty blooms that float on wand-like spikes from early summer to frost, the long bloom season and drought tolerance make this a terrific plant for any collection. And there should be some stones in there or something too. There should be some fertilizer too. Oh wait, yeah. There's this thing of stones. Yeah, There's snow white, white pebbles. White stones. And then there's a tiny little thing of fertilizer. Fertilizer. Which I won't use because I use Newt and anybody who wants to try Newt, I have a code for it. Just let me know. No, you can find it down below. Okay, fine. Find it down below. So I won't use this fertilizer because I use that instead. So that's okay. Um, you know, it's worth it for the pot that you get and the soil, but I don't really think it's worth it for the plants. I think it's kind of cool, actually. I disagree with Kendall on this. I think this is kind of cool. What they, they have a full guide of what they want you to do, and they want you to fertilize your bag of soil, and then they want you to fill this container about three quarters full. And then they want you to arrange these three however you see fit, which feels good to you. Fill it the rest of the way and then top it with the pebbles. Then use, they included three of those wooden 
tag, so you can tag each one. Also, this one comes with the Werther, so you know I'm happier about that candy. But I think that this is actually kind of cool. Um, how big create... do these get, though? Like, how long are they going to be able to live in that little pot? Aren't they ground covered? Didn't you say one of these was ground covered? No, I think they'll, I think they'll be fine from what it looks like. I, they, it comes out looking, like, really nice, what they want you to do with it. I just think looks really zen. Well, I can fertilize the soil and see how it goes. Yeah, I think, so they always include a letter. Um, it's a long letter. I'm not going to reread this. I'm not going to read this whole thing, but basically it is talking about getting back to your roots and gardening and being therapeutic. So I kind of think this is kind of cool. They gave you what sound to be like pretty unique plants. I've never seen any of these. No, I haven't either. So you have three pretty unique plants and a really gorgeous pot. Like this thing the is... The pot is... That's the best pot I've ever gotten in one of these boxes. Ooh, it's like... It's almost like static with this thing. But the pot's gorgeous. And you do like this really cool layout. Like you get to like make something your own. I think it's really cool. I'm happy with it. Much better than the succulent box. Much better. So... We'll see if these all survive. And how they do. We can keep you posted. The succulents are doing fine. I didn't bring them into this room to show them to you today. I should have. But um, am I boring you? No, it's a plant box. But that's how I feel all the time. I know. It's payback for you. Uh, but they're doing fine. So, yeah. These are not bad. Yeah. So, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and, yeah, let us know what you guys think. Let us know if you guys do my garden box. I think it's worth another shot another week though it's kind of this is cool i like this this was fun this was you get to have your own little indoor garden with this thing so we'll see how it does and worst case scenario we got a sweet pot yeah i'd pay 50 dollars just for that pot i or wouldn't no, 38 dollars. i wouldn't i would but that's just me but until next time everybody we'll see you in the next video